champions of life, seekers of greatness, hear me now as I stand before you, not as a preacher, not as a prophet, but as a fellow traveler on the journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Today, we embark on a quest together, a quest to unlock the boundless potential that resides within each and every one of us. Strength, leadership, power, authority, these are not merely attributes bestowed upon us by fate. They are gifts, divine gifts, entrusted to us by a higher power. And it is our sacred duty to honor these gifts, to nurture them, to wield them with grace and humility. Yet in our pursuit of greatness, let us not forget the virtue of patience. For true leadership is not born overnight nor is it achieved without perseverance. We must learn to listen, to learn, to grow. For it is through these humble acts that we ascend to the summit of our potential. Yes, we may stumble, we may falter, but remember, it is not the fall that defines us, but the strength with which we rise. I have stood atop the highest peaks, tasted the sweet nectar of success, Yet I tell you now, it is a lonely place. For true victory is not in the accolades we receive, but in the battles we overcome. Deep within each of us lies a burning desire, a yearning to make a difference, to leave our mark upon the world. This, my friends, is no mere coincidence. It is the universe's way of beckoning us towards our destiny towards a life of purpose and fulfillment. But to heed this call, we must be willing to take risks, to step outside our comfort zones, to embrace the unknown. For it is only by daring greatly that we can hope to achieve greatness. So I say to you, dream big, set audacious goals, and then with unwavering determination, pursue them relentlessly. Yes, there will be obstacles. Yes, there will be setbacks. But let me tell you something. The only failure in life is the failure to try. Do not be afraid to fail. For in failure lies the seeds of growth, of resilience, of ultimately triumph. Fall forward, my friends. Fall forward and let each stumble propel you ever closer to your dreams. And as you journey forth, Remember the words of Nelson Mandela. There is no passion to be found playing small in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. You are capable of greatness, my friends. Embrace it. Own it. Live it. But remember, success is not measured by the size of our bank accounts or the number of accolades on our shelves. It is measured by the lives we touch, the hearts we inspire, the legacy we leave behind. So go forth, my friends, go forth and conquer. Be the change you wish to see in the world. And remember, in the words of my mother, just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. So choose your battles wisely. Focus on what truly matters. And above all else, never lose sight of the fact that the greatest joy in life comes from helping others. Each one, teach one, reach back, pull someone up. For in lifting others, we lift ourselves. And in giving, we receive the greatest gift of all, the gift of purpose, of meaning, of a life well lived. So go forth, my friends. Go forth and shine your light upon the world. For the world awaits your greatness. And remember, the only limits that exist are the ones we place upon ourselves. Believe in yourself. Trust in your abilities. And never ever give up on your dreams. For you, my friends, are destined for greatness. So go forth and claim it. The world is waiting.